It was it, exactly like that, you know. I had his, I had his toes, and I, I remember a few weeks ago, we, me, me and Ashley were going over the, the position, and I, the mistake I was doing to get, to get into detail was going over the foot and trying to pull the foot down instead of pulling the toes down. And that's all I could remember through the whole transition was pull the toes down, pull the toes down, pull the toes down. And I just pulled until, until I seen a tap. It was one of the things where I was thinking, is it actually on? Because he held on for so long, he was tough, he was durable. But then I felt the, ta the, felt the tap and I was pff, ecstatic. It'll, it'll pop the knee, you know. It's, um, <clears throat> I've had it done loads of times. I've been injured a few times from it as well for not tapping quick enough. It's one of them things where you'll feel pain, 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 and it'll just go. And it's a, it's a horrific little uh, injury to have. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm lucky enough to train with the best team in the world. You know what I mean? And uh, for all these fighters that think they need to travel anywhere, they don't. I was born and raised in Swansea, and I train in Swansea. And I'm competing with the best guys in the world and beating them, you know. So, um, like I said, shout out to my team. Uh, they, they've been absolutely fantastic, been with me since day one, and uh, got a lot of... Uh, a lot of respect for them. Thank you. How much did it mean to you get that first finish of your UFC career? <clears throat> you had a few decisions before this. I wasn't expecting it. Super honest. I've, uh, I'm known for being sort of a decision fighter, but um, <clears throat> every guy I seem to face, I think it's a step up. I perform. Back in the old Titan FC days, uh, when I fought for uh, the Titan FC World Title, I fought a guy called Wild Watson, who was the next UFC vet, first UFC vet I fought, and I, I finished him. And tonight it was the same. I felt like Morales and Quack, the first two UFC fights, were good opponents, up and comers. But Joe has been there and done it. And uh, to get, like, obviously, to get the finish over him was um, amazing. What, what can I say? You know, it's uh, it's a very, like I said, it's a, it's a great time for me. I'm happy. I have absolutely no uh, problem with the record. People think it's like a mental block. <clears throat> it doesn't bother me. You know what I mean? I'm not afraid to lose. I'm not. I'm at that level now when I'm fighting the best guys. I'm not afraid to lose. But I want to fight the best guys out there. You know, and uh, the next step for me, I think, is is the top 15 in the world. Surely it is. You know what I mean? I I wanted to get in that top 15 mark. Nobody in my country has ever been near this spot before, and I'm the guy that's, that's leading the way. And uh, I'm going to continue to do this until until I get that gold belt. You know, respect to every single one of them 15 guys in that in that top 15. But I'm coming for that belt. I've got one job here, and if I wasn't going for that belt, I wouldn't be here now. I wouldn't be wasting my time doing this. You know, um, like I said, very thankful. Fight capital of the world, my first fight in Vegas, an absolute honour. You know, I've uh, caught me some great Welsh fighters, Nathan Cleverly, I, uh, Joe Calzaghi, and now Brett Johns from uh, Swansea. As your first time in Vegas, what do you have in mind as a celebration? I think we all know. If I don't, if I don't wake up with Mike Tyson's tiger in my bedroom, I'm going to be disappointed tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm so proud of where I come from. You know, um, I'm, I, I'm a born and bred Welsh fighter. I speak the language. No, nobody's like me back home, you know. Um, and not only that, as well as other sports, I go on travelling with other sports to support my team, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a very pro Welshman, and without this Welsh support, I won't be here, man, you know what I mean? They pushed me a long way, and uh, like I said, there's hope now we can bring, next time we come to Vegas, we'll be bringing waves of us.